Hi, I'm Olivia Klein, and this is my best bud, Holly Naughton. And uh, we're gonna go around New York City. Got a tour of Liv's favorite places. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> the first place I'm gonna take you is to see the Dirty Brick. Okay. Right. When New York was like booming and like the economy was booming, obviously they built this like amazing Grand Central Station. Amazing, incredible. But then the depression, yeah. things took a little bit of a downward turn and like things became very derelict. When they decided to kind of come in and clean this place up, they decided to clean the, the ceiling and they've kept just a little square. I don't know if you can see it, but if you like look where the, the crabs pincer is and go a little bit southwest from there, there's a little brick of dirty ceiling and that's what the ceiling used to look like. So the ceiling used to be like this, like super dirty, gross nest. This whole gorgeous thing was covered. And uh, yeah, got that stuff done, didn't they? Scrubbed it right up. You know what, let's go to Times Square because you can't go to New York City and not go to Times Square. I'm not gonna lie to you, my mom was always like, this is so, Kit, it's too, it's too gaudy, you know. But maybe there's like some beauty and a little bit of over know, the top, over the topness. Yeah. I guess it's very American. It is extremely American. I would say it's not super New Yorker. Like New Yorkers are kind of known as this like business centric, very like no time to lose. Like we're, we have to go get it all the time, and like very understated, more like I don't know how to explain it. But Times Square for me is more like. Americana of like, mm -hmm. look at me, look at me, which is not doesn't tend to be New York, but more, a little more Miami, I think. Bit over the top. All right, get your hood on. How much for a little umbrella? Five dollars. Five dollars? Oh yeah. Thank you so much. All right. Anything for you, Rob, and for the people watching this video, the effort behind making it is with love. Not for you. I know, it's for Rob. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Times Square, right down 42nd Street, westward, we go. <laughs> it's funny, because like growing up in New York, I mean, obviously I spent time in Scotland, where it's like very rainy, but I wouldn't consider like New York a very rainy place, but since we've been here this week, I feel like it's been raining a lot. It's rained like every day, I think. Yeah, but no snow, which, for me, I would, pr eh. snow at least is, is like a dry pretty. cold. And it's, it's pretty. pretty. Yeah. This you know, I was born in the middle of a massive snowstorm. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All them years ago. Exactly 30, actually. <laughs> <laughs> but my dad used to work on Madison Avenue. Like, literally, this building, so his, see that number right there, Citibank is 330. On this side of the uh, this side of the street, like towards our right here, yeah, was the building three three three, which they actually ended up knocking down. So they just built this new building. But my dad literally worked inside this building just here for like my entire youth. So I spent a lot of time. <laughs> I spent a lot of time coming here when I was a kid. I don't know. I spent a lot of time here. I like to run. But if I'm walking, I like to go slow. I'm a mosier. And I, don't I take run. it all in. It's all very scenic for me. And for Holly doesn't like a run, but she loves a bloody fast walk. And it is a bloody fast one. It's not a This is slow. I feel I like know. I'm going in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you gotta find yourself a friend who'll walk slow for you. Look at this. Like it's tormenting her. She really wants to be like <laughs> onwards we go. You're supposed to be from New York. Things are hustle and bustle. You gotta get going. <laughs> Maybe this is like my rebellious Aquarian part of my life where I'm like, everyone says I'm supposed to be like fast and furious, but like, no! I'm taking back my, my power and I'll be lazy like a snail. <laughs> <laughs> gotta save that energy for on court, you know? That's true. Smile like you mean it. <laughs> We're almost at we're almost at Times Square. That's good. Jesus, what are we in Scotland or something? Well, I was just gonna say this reminds me of Lisa. These little mics. She loved them so much. 
Sending you vibes, Lisa, if you're watching this. <laughs> All right, we're getting into the thick of it now. Times Square, the most obnoxious place in New York City. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> when people think of New York and they think of America, they're like, oh yeah, Times Square and McDonald's. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what we get. You know, there is something about being a little extra that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie to you, I think. It's definitely well, very like, America to be grand and big and yeah, bright. For and sure. I mean, this is supposed to be like the land of opportunity, right? I mean, yeah. I always felt like living in New York City that there was nothing that was that far out of distance and nothing that was so far like that I I was just exposed to so much, you know? Yeah. But here you have it. Time freaking square. <laughs> Times freaking square. I mean, everyone loves Times Square in a if I go to New York, I want to go to Times Square kind of way, but I'm not going to lie to you, this doesn't do it for me. It doesn't, it doesn't make the cut. How about we head to one of my favorite places? Sounds good. Let's see real New York. Let's do it. No. Oh, look, it's raining less. All right, to go to my favorite place, we're going to have to hop on the subway. Holly, I know you're not a big, uh, big into the germs, so. Might be a tough one. That's all right. It's all good. The subway is right there. The fact that I grew up in New York City makes me a lot of who I am. Do you feel that way that like, I mean, obviously you kind of grew up in two different places that you maybe have a, a pull between your English side and your Canadian side? Yeah, I think it's always gonna, I'm sure like growing up in New York, you have to mature a bit quicker yeah. to deal with all of this. <laughs> yeah, it's an onslaught it's a lot. for sure. Um, I think it's the same. I mean, I moved around, so yeah. you have to adapt. Um, I think New York is something that, that you're always having to adapt. You're having to, totally. you know, the subways, you've got all of these very different things in one city. And totally. You always think of New York as Times Square and this big grand thing, yep. but then, like I said, we'll see some of the the more local places where the locals will go um, yeah. that are a bit more down Chill. to earth. Yeah. And there are those places, right? Like it's not like every. Again, it's like this is like what people think is like the typical part, but like New York is like lots of like culture and art right we have some of the best museums art museums in the whole world you know the met the metropolitan museum of art is amazing the modern museum of art moma is incredible there's the whitney that's downtown there's like tons of amazing art i think there's a lot of culture we've got yes it's a it's a big business culture it's a lot of like people you know trying to better themselves and then there's also a lot of like you know, fun and art and, you know, the New York City Ballet is one of the best ballets in the world. It's just up uh, at Lincoln Center, not too far from here. There's, there's a lot of options, a lot of opportunity, right? Like, it is a city that's basically the, the immigrant culture of it with so many different cultures, I think makes it so much fun because we have some of the best from everywhere, right? Like, because we ha are, you know, like, originally when New York was settled, actually, to be quite frank, it was first New Amsterdam. The Dutch found it first here. Manhattan was originally a Dutch settlement. Um, but when it became New York, you know, when people would come in from, from all the different countries and emigrate, like, from, El you know, through Ellis Island, they really had this idea of, like, you know, a melting pot of cultures and it, I think what has happened essentially is that there, you just have so many amazing options to experience all these different cultures because you have so many people uh, doing it. But anyway, Subway, AKA no more rain for a little bit. Let's do it. All right, are you good? We're in. I'm gonna need to tinkle soon. Please get that on camera. Oh, no! She's always tinkling. She's the tinkle queen. All right, we're going to go to the shuttle 
okay. which will actually take us back to, uh, to, to, to Grand Central. Then we're gonna go down east. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even really have seats in here because it's literally one stop. That's it, that's all you got. Growing up, I lived down in Battery Park City, okay, right here. Battery Park City, that's where I grew up. When I was seven, we moved right, right before 9-11. We moved over to Brooklyn, okay. This is where the Heights Casino is, over near Clark Street, Brooklyn Heights, like that kind of area. And we moved further into Brooklyn as I got older. So, yeah, I ended up kind of out here, kind of flat, bushy area. It's all coming back to me now. And you were in New York for your first 14 years of life? First 14 years of life, and then my family moved to Connecticut. But I think that still makes me a New Yorker. Like, I don't think of myself as, like, from Connecticut. I'm too, I'm too weird. I don't know, I love the eccentricity of New York. I think it's like, yeah, there's it's like a judgment-free zone because it is so freaking weird here. Yeah. I love the weird. I'd be lost in here. Yeah, you know what though? When you start riding the subway by yourself when you're like 10 or 11 years old to get about, some things never leave you. I will say this though, I did meet Alan in New York City at Grand Central, didn't I? <laughs> ten, <laughs> 10 years ago, no, nope, 11? 11 years ago we met. But 10 year anniversary today. This is true too. Stole my entire 20s. Gone with the wind. Some would say he calmed you down. <laughs> <laughs> I've known Holly for too long. I think this is the problem. Or Holly's known me for too long. She knew me before and after the Klein effect. <laughs> It's quite the effect. <laughs> Downtown in Brooklyn, right there, baby. Downtown in Brooklyn. I will say, I mean, I like Manhattan a lot, but Brooklyn is even cooler. I think Brooklyn is more, when I think of New York for me, like growing up, I think of Brooklyn. We're going express? We're going express. It's one stop to Union Square. I spent a lot of time on these. Subway, this is New York City, right? This is like people going about their daily business, right? Going to work, doing what they do. I love people watching in here. Don't expect her to ever stop talking. <laughs> this is perfect. It's like your one year old TV show. Yeah. Wow. This is yabbity, what my yabbity, friends yabbity. think of me. My husband and my one of my best friends, this is what they think of me. Don't expect her to shut up anytime soon. She'll just keep hitting you with different facts. Do you want me to bring up the eye? Because I can do that if you want. See this thing here? <laughs> she hit me. We played <laughs> so on Friday night in the first round, and she hit me in the eye. <laughs> she hit me, and she looked like she enjoyed it, to be honest with you. <laughs> Almost got a conduct stroke for that. It wasn't that bad. Oh yeah, but not but not for actually hitting me, by the way, but for the profanity that came afterwards. <laughs> Unbelievable. The characters I surround myself with. All right, just let's go. I'm, we're going to my favorite place. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Like a little kid in a candy shop. Oh yes, you know it. Let's turn left here. We're so close, we're so close, we're so close! <laughs> <laughs> it's here! Okay, so, my favorite place in New York City is the Strand Bookstore! 18 whole miles of books. You have used books, new books. You've got all that you could ever dream of in these stacks. It is the be all end all for every single bookworm in the whole wide world. Here it is, we're going in. This is the Strand Bookstore. Honestly, it's just my favorite place in New York City. I'm gonna be quite frank, I love it here. Massive bookworm, and there's nothing I like more than buying books, is there? It really is, like, like the number, the numero uno thing. I love getting stickers. I'm a sucker for a sticker, to be honest with you. I mean, there's nothing more New York City than this pigeon, to be perfectly honest with you. 
Thank you, you as well. I'm getting a little hungry. Pancakes are the best. Should we hop in a taxi to Bubby's? Sounds good. We are heading to Bubby's. Um, basically, I used to come here with my family every Sunday, more or less. We would walk from when we were living in New York City. We were, when we were living in Battery Park City, we would walk to, to Bubby's on Hudson Street. Um, best pancakes in town. And as it is my birthday, pancakes are a must. Um, but yeah, it, it, it holds a special place in my heart. And as it is my birthday, I will repeat one more time, my mother will be uh, joining us. So yeah, this is how I spend my time training in the gym. It, I would go so far as to say, is, is, it, is it a gym? Is it gymming? Or is it a <laughs> dance party? I don't know. I go for 50-50. We lift, we lift some, we dance some. Moo. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday. Thanks, Mom. This is my mom. <laughs> There are two options of Bubby's pancakes. You have the James Beard, fluffy, thick, like Rob's, okay? Then, you can also have a lovely Eggs Benedict. All right, portion size, you get what you want here. All right, we've got lovely omelet. But for me, thank you so much, I prefer the sourdough chocolate chip pancake with a side of poached eggs, gotta hit that protein count. But it doesn't get any better than this, baby. Bon appetit, people. So if Olivia is 30 years old today, when she was, went 29 years ago, we would come here every Sunday for brunch and uh, Olivia just loved the pancakes as a, a we, <laughs> We, our kids were very into food. We, we were foodies ourselves, so what can I say? But anyway, Bubby's was one of the places. If we went, if we came here every Sunday uh, that we were in New York, uh, having lived down in Battery Park City, uh, we would bring them up on strollers. And it's really wonderful to be back here um, and to see her in her space, the place that she loves, and the pancakes. So, Holly, how are we feeling? Feeling good, all full. And uh, had a good little tour of this city. <laughs> this city. city. Um, yeah. So what are you planning for the uh, rest of the day? Um, I've got some birthday plans that she doesn't know about yet. So surprises. Surprises. Um, so yeah, we got a few activities left. Um, ones that you are not invited to. But yeah. All right, Rob. See you later. Off we go. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.